It is 2021, the 500th anniversary of the first Mass and the first baptism in our country. It is 2021, the 30th anniversary of the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines. It is 2021, the year of St. Joseph, as desired by Pope Francis. What do these three coinciding events teach us? And I offer one word, dreams. PCP2 was the dream church that we want. The first Mass and the first baptism were the seeds of dreams in our country. And after 500 years, they have borne abundant fruits. And St. Joseph, St. Joseph was a dreamer. In every dream, the angel spoke to Joseph and told him what the Lord wanted him to do. In the lives of the apostles, after the crucifixion, after the confusion of the crucifixion, the disciples of Emmaus were returning to familiar grounds and uh, the other apostles were hiding in different places in Jerusalem. And the Lord appeared to Mary Magdalene and told Mary Magdalene to tell the brethren to see me in Galilee. See me in Galilee. But why? Where were the brethren? Some of the brethren were going to Emmaus. Emmaus was a spa town. It was a recreation town. It was a place for relaxation, a place to forget our worries. The others were not going to Emmaus. The others were going to Jerusalem. Jerusalem was the place of the temple, but it was also the place of crucifixion. It carried ugly memories. They were hiding, but they were there. The Lord told them, do not go to Jerusalem where you saw a horrible death. Do not go to Emmaus and just recreate and forget about it. Go to Galilee. What was with Galilee? Galilee was the place where the dreams were born. Galilee was the place where the vision was set. Galilee still echoes with those words, the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. That is where our dream started. Do not just recreate and try to forget. Do not just keep on crying and look at the tomb looking for me. Go to Galilee where our dreams were born. What is the Galilee of our lives? The Galilee of our lives is our first love. The day, the moment, that hour when we were so convinced that we were so loved by the Lord and we were willing to lay down everything for Him, to follow Him all the way. And we were afraid, we were reluctant, we were anxious, we were uncertain about the future, but we took a dive we took a leap of faith and then we just said, I will follow the Lord. In my case, I want to remember that I met the Lord through a movie idol, Bruce Lee. When we were in high school, Bruce Lee was our favorite movie star. But when we were in high school, Bruce Lee died. And when Bruce Lee died, I became more interested in his life, pictures, and clippings. But 
I started to get distracted because I encountered one quotation from Bruce Lee that disturbed me deeply. The cup realizes itself only by being empty. Frankly, I wanted to die and I was only 16. I wanted to die like Bruce Lee. I was distracted in class and uh, my advisor was worried so he brought me to the principal's office and the principal said to me, what's going on? At the rate you're going, you're going to repeat this year. I didn't say a word. He asked me, you're taking drugs? I said, no, sir. What's going on? So he was pushing for an answer. So I answered and said, sir, Bruce Lee died. And the principal said, so? And I said, sir, the cup realizes itself only by being empty. And, sir, I want to die. It is not suicide, but I want to die. My principal caught the wind of the Spirit, and he knew that the Lord was stirring something in my heart that my young mind could not understand. So, he said to me, something is going on with you. I'll bring you to a college where you can die. So he brought me to San Carlos Seminary. And I took the exams because he said I could die there. And when I entered San Carlos Seminary, I had my Bruce Lee album as thick as this. But to my great shame, I met Jesus and I understood that Bruce Lee was not original because 2,000 years before Bruce Lee, the Lord already said, if the seed dies, it bears fruit. You must be willing to die so that you can give life. The mystery of the emptied cup can only be useful if it is totally ready without anything. And then, Bruce Lee continued to form me in the seminary and taught me the value of being like water. And this is what I want to share with you now. Be like water. Relating it to PCP2, to the 500th anniversary, and then to the year of St. Joseph, I say, be like water. How? Be like rain. Be like rain, it always goes down. And not only does it go down, it does not stop until it has reached the bottom. Be like rainwater, seeking the lowest place all the time. That's humility. Water teaches us humility. Water teaches us flexibility, not to be rigid with our own opinions, not to be too harsh on others' opinions, but to be humble and to seek the lowest place possible. When we look back at 500 years, when we look back at 30 years after PCP2, it is not very difficult to see that our problems in the church return to one vice. It is pride. It is wanting to be known. It is choosing to be popular. It is the absence of humility. There can be no true evangelization without the spirit of humility. And the absence of humility has destroyed many communities, has wounded many Christians, has scandalized so many Catholics. There can be no true evangelization unless we become like rainwater, seeking the lowest place all the time. The second lesson of water, according to my idol, is 
be like ice, hard like ice. It is not about the melting of the ice. It is about the hardness of the ice. And that hardness is symbolic of courage. Courage. That is why the Lord has 365 times told us, Do not be afraid. Take courage. I have overcome the world. Do not be afraid. Trust me. I will never leave you. The second challenge of the 500th anniversary and the 30th of PCP2 and the year of St. Joseph is that we are being invited for greater courage. The courage of Joseph to save the child and the mother from the wrath of Herod. The courage of Joseph to be able to stand up and protect the child and the mother to assume responsibility for the Holy Family. Isn't that also our problem? Cowardice. We are afraid to be bashed. We are afraid to be ridiculed. We are afraid to be gossiped about. We are afraid to be calumniated. We are afraid to be taken for granted. So what do we do? We always take the safe side, hardly a courageous side, but the side that will protect us from criticism. But can we help it? The servant cannot be above the master, right? But why are we afraid to die like the master? Bawal ang duwag. Let us take courage. Do not be afraid. Be hard. Stand up on your conviction like ice. The third is be like Jew. Before you see a Jew, a droplet of Jew, it takes a lot of molecules of H2O to be able to get one droplet of Jew. In other words, water teaches us to unite, to put together the molecules, to create one Jew on top of a leaf. The third challenge is a call for unity. We are more than 7,000 islands. We are divided by seas. But why should we be divided even more by politics, by economics, by culture, by language? We have enough reasons to be divided because of our natural island divisions. Let us seek unity. Let us heal the wounds of division that afflict us because the mission of the Lord is He came so that all may be one. We cannot be disciples of the Lord. We cannot be men and women of PCP2. We cannot be men and women celebrating 500 years of the first Mass and the first baptism in our country and yet not unite. We have many reasons for being different. We have only one reason for being united. We have only one Lord and we have only one church. Unity. The fourth is spread like mist. Spread like mist. You don't see it, but you feel it. The mist in the morning gives us comfort. The mist in the morning gives us a nice feeling. It is like love. You don't see love, but you spread it around. It is like love. It is like love which makes a hot day more pleasant because of the mist of comfort. We are invited to share in that mission of love. Spread love wherever you go because we will be known by the love that we carry in our hearts for one another. 
PCP2, St. Joseph, 500th anniversary, all these three coinciding events teach us that at the sunset of our lives, we will only be judged according to love. Be like water. Flow. Go down to the deepest level. Spread like a mist of comfort. Gather like dew. Flow like a river. In other words, be flexible. Adapt. Don't resist the changes, but don't be the first to change. Be discerning. Flow like a river. Clean water. Clean river. To be flexible. To make sure that the gospel is inculturated. Yes, we are called Roman Catholics, but we are also Roman Catholics in the Philippines. And there is a richness in our culture that needs to be appreciated by the rest of the world. Flow. Be like the bamboo that dances with the wind. Be flexible, but know your roots. Because if you don't know how to bend, if you don't know how to adjust, you will just break. Be like rain. Be humble. Be like ice. Be courageous. Be like mist. Be loving. Be like the Jew. Unite. Be like the river. Flow and adjust. Be flexible. We are being invited to be that. Disciples like water. At the end of it, we understand that the Lord himself called himself living water. When you become like water, when you live the lessons of water, you actually live the lessons of Jesus himself. Humility, courage, love, unity, flexibility, mercy. God bless you.